Welcome back everybody. Another beginner's guide for Phasmophobia here. Today we're going to focus on the two smaller maps. We're going to talk about Tanglewood and Willow Street and what I want to focus on is every single place in these houses that is a valid hiding spot and also where not to hide. So if you're dying a lot uh, during the hunts because the ghost just finds you because you're not hiding well, well this is the guide for you. I will help keep you safe. I will help you survive. And I'll help you be the best ghost hunter amongst your friends. Make sure you subscribe to this channel if you find that valuable. Make sure you smash that like button. And also make sure you come on over to Twitch where I stream every Monday, Wednesday, Saturday, Sunday. And chill with the whole Phasmophobia community live. Make some new friends, all that kind of stuff. We'd love to see you over there. We love new people. Love new faces. Uh, let's get started. All right, so the first map we're gonna do with the two is Tanglewood. It's the easier one to hide in. I'm gonna show you why. Dear Lord, that's loud. So in Tanglewood, you got a ton of closets, okay? Hello, ghosty. Keep in mind, this is nightmare mode, so on nightmare mode, a lot of these closets can be filled. If you're on amateur or intermediate, uh, we got an open closet here we could use to hide in, actually, which is really good. You just turn your light off and hide in there. But, for example, this closet is filled. You can't go in there. Another one would be in the boys' bedroom. Okay. So, if you have a closet open, you want to get in that closet. There's lockers in the garage. Those are normally filled on Nightmare as well. Especially if you have a closet open in the hallway. But all those places are good places to hide. On the lower difficulty level. So, on Nightmare, you're looking at more of furniture locations. My favorite place in the garage here is going to be behind this tool chest right here. It's not entirely safe. I've died here a few times, but it's, you know, it's, it's a solid spot to go for. And you're relatively pretty safe. Um, in a pinch, you can go behind doors. Just like this, on the tighter ones. Um, this is probably your second best bet for a door. A door like this, where there's a lot of space between the door and the wall, it's a lot bigger risk because the ghost is going to come in here and around the garage, and if it sees you, it's just going to kill you. But... The favorite door in this whole house to hide behind is going to be probably this one right here. People love to gather around here because there's, no, there's enough space to just glide back between the wall without having to pull the door in. So this is a this is a relatively pretty safe spot. You can also go in here next to the table like that. This is a pretty solid spot, but you have to close the door in on yourself. Um, this one, not so much. They actually... This used to be the, the favorite door in the house to hide behind, but they put that stuff back there for that reason. But that should still be available on amateur and intermediate. Now, in a pinch, where I would not hide is in the nursery here. There's not really anything to hide behind. In the bathroom. Not really anything to hide behind. You can try the door, you, I mean, but you're still at risk in here. What I have done on this map is, A, you can, you can try and hide behind here. Um, that's kind of risky, but in a real pinch, you can wrap yourself in a closet like this and try to shut the doors on yourself as far as you can. And I have had luck here. It is risky. And, uh, when you're doing this, you're kind of expecting to die anyway, because you're in a tight spot and the hunt started unexpectedly. But hey, this might help you get out alive. Uh, aside from that, let's check out the basement. The basement, people die in the basement all the time. Uh, you can try and hide behind these shelves, but if the ghost comes down this hallway, which it typically does if it goes in the basement, uh, you're cooked. So I'll try and stay out of the basement at all costs. So that's pretty much it for Tanglewood. It's pretty simple, but those are the kind of places you're thinking about before the hunt starts as to where the closest hiding spot is. And, you know, you want to you wanna plan that out. And that's the key to really surviving hunts. It's A... Having the mentality that you're going to get hunted. And B, having that plan. Now let's take you to Willow. Willow is a much tougher map to hide on. Alright, so Willow Street. Definitely the, the uh, harder of the two small maps to hide in. And they designed it that way. So Willow Street, they designed uh, specifically with the idea that you're going to have to hide behind furniture. So if you can bump into it and it has a contact with you, you can theoretically hide behind it. Although some spots and rooms are better than others. And I'm going to explain that all to you now. This is on nightmare mode again, so some spots are going to be blocked. But I'll explain the better spots for beginners on the lower difficulties as well. First off, in the living room here, as we enter the house, a lot of people like to hide over by this cabinet. 
Now your hope here is just that the ghost doesn't come in to this room too deep. If it comes in too deep, it will see you, it will come over and will kill you. Uh, one thing to take note of, if um, your teammate has a smudge stick and they're holding it by the front door here, luring the ghost in, and you're hiding over there next to that uh, white cabinet, you might get cooked. The ghost might come over there and because he's pretty deep in the room at that point. So one thing to take note of, I've seen that happen. In the kitchen, I mean, you could try hiding behind the counter if you really had to. I wouldn't recommend that. That's a pretty dangerous spot. Uh, my favorite spot on nightmare mode to hide. Well, if, if we weren't on nightmare. If we were on a lower level difficulty. And I haven't hid here in forever because normally I'm always on professional or nightmare. And this spot's always blocked. But it's right over here next to the, uh, the dryer step row where these crates are. These crates aren't here on the lower difficulties. And you can sneak in that little corner right there. And that's a pretty safe spot. So I'd recommend trying that. Um, over here could be safe, but it's still risky because the ghost can come back here. Um, it's definitely not as safe as that spot by the dryer would be. But in the garage, you also have potentially this spot over here that's blocked off. Sometimes it's not. That's a decent spot to hide. And um, my favorite spot is right over here because it's pretty deep in the garage. And this spot's always open. So, if you're upstairs, try and get to the garage in this spot on Nightmare. Or if you're on a lower level di difficulty, try to get to that dryer. But let's check out the other rooms. The bathroom, I wouldn't hide in the bathroom. That's just flipping a coin. Because if the ghost comes in there, you're done. Uh, the boys' bedroom here. You can get away with hiding here. Although the ghost does sometimes take a path that's uh, in front of the bed. It'll come around the corner in the front of the bed here. Hey, Boone. That's cool. So if it does take that path on the way back, you're going to get nuked. You can hide over here. This is definitely safer. So that's a spot to consider, especially if you are on this side of the house and the ghost is in the middle here and spawns in the middle and you can't get to the garage. That's one spot that's decent. In this bedroom, uh, behind this chest over here is okay. And also behind the desk over here is okay. But keep in mind... The ghost can always just come in and just, just clap you. And on these hunts, make sure your flashlights are off and you're not talking to your team. Be quiet. In the basement, there are some good spots, especially on the lower difficulties. Um, it's a lot harder to survive in the basement on Nightmare. For sure. So down here in this first room, on lower difficulties, there's always no boxes here. On Nightmare, sometimes there's no boxes here. But if you can, get in behind there. That's a pretty solid spot. Um, behind here is kind of risky. You could do it, but it's it's risky. Over here, if these boxes aren't here, behind that shelf is a pretty solid spot. But this spot right here is just about always open. Right here next to this, uh, this workbench. And this is an okay spot. Not entirely safe. Nothing on Nightmare is really entirely safe. Behind this tire here, it's a pretty solid spot. A little scary. But my um, personal favorite spot in the entire basement, if you have the chance to get behind this trash can here and there's no boxes, that's pretty safe. But like I said, on Nightmare, a lot of the safest spots are blocked off. But lower difficulties, this is a, a definite go. And I think that was all the, the rooms in Willow. So I hope this guide helped you with it if you're new with the game and uh, you get killed a lot during hunts. But like I said, it's about the process. A, identify nearby spot. And B, be ready to go there when the ghost hunts. So, it's pretty much that simple. Hope this helped, guys. Uh, make sure you come over to my Twitch Rush every Monday, Wednesday, Saturday, Sunday. I would love to see you there. We play a ton of Phasmophobia. See you next time.